Scientists at a nanotechnology research facility are hard at work sending microscopic vehicles shaped like submarines and rockets into the human body. They are using sensors to take live images of different organs and structures to see how they function under various conditions. For example, inside the brain of a happy person who is listening to classical music, the neurons look like this, from the point of view of the microscopic research vehicle. In contrast, this is what a man's brain looks like at the moment he suddenly grew displeased that his football team just forfeited a game due to unsportsmanlike conduct. Researchers are already making astonishing discoveries with the new remote-controlled miniature submarines, which they send not only into people's bodies, but also into stagnant ponds or murky puddles in nearby farms and other places where weird organisms might survive. For example, is this evidence of extraterrestrial life? It certainly looks that way, but in fact it was just the environment inside a wad of discarded chewing gum that scientist Dalton Graham obtained earlier that day. Dalton had surreptitiously retrieved the gum from the floor while waiting in line at the store behind a person who had been coughing for several minutes. Back at the laboratory, Dalton used the microscopic cameras of a miniature vehicle to determine that the wad of chewing gum contained mutated pathogens, possibly indicating the chewer was suffering from a strain of tuberculosis. Being vaccinated against the current crop of airborne diseases, Dalton hadn't been concerned about catching TB, COVID, or influenza from the coughing gentleman. Dalton and his colleague, Marsha Callahan, were operating multiple microscopes simultaneously in their research laboratory, based at a nanotechnology consortium of universities and startup companies in the biotech and computer industries. That's why he allowed himself to indulge in finding out what was the matter with the sick guy standing in front of him earlier that day. But their main focus is on sending tiny vehicles into people's bones, blood vessels, kidneys, brains, and parts in between. For the past five months, Dalton and Marsha have been laboring, mostly in secret, under a non-disclosure agreement testing new microscopic submarines that allow scientists to experience via telepresence what it's like to travel deep inside a living human body. These videos were apparently leaked from a Discord server that the researchers thought was private. They reveal new insights into the workings of the human body. For example, this person's kidneys were reacting to the effects of drinking one liter of whiskey per day. In contrast, these kidneys routinely filter two gallons of strong black coffee daily, Monday through Friday. This woman's ovaries are responding to a new drug designed to increase her chances of sending a viable egg down her fallopian tubes to be first fertilized by her husband's sperm. Here we can see that running up several flights of stairs every day can have a positive effect on your cardiovascular system. But this individual's arteries are showing the effects of sitting more than 12 hours per day, playing games and watching videos, while being afraid of everything real. The first candidates to have microscopic vehicles travel through their body recording videos went through a qualified process by a board of doctors, surgeons, and other medical professionals. They needed to have an illness that was not currently responding to conventional treatment. Eventually, the researchers planned to make the miniature submarines available to all patients whose doctors have determined they need advanced imaging systems to figure out what's ailing them. This is especially crucial in cases where x-ray and CAT scan machines can't see deeply enough to help make a diagnosis. From hunting for cancer cells and destroying them with laser blasts, 
to repairing damage inside the kidneys or pancreas caused by the modern American diet. Microscopic vehicles should revolutionize the healing arts and usher in a new era of medical discovery. 